Hello people, Siku Senpai here, and here is uh, Magia Record, Maho Shoujo, Manica Magica, Gaiden, <laughs> episode 3. Let's do this. Did I find deodorant? Uh, <laughs> motion machine, huh. Who are they? <laughs> well then, uh, that, that escalated. <laughs> and that's a lot of books too. Dang! I mean, that kind of makes sense. I mean, important stuff in something as fragile as books. Nemu, huh? Oh, is that the, um, girl in the middle? Oh, so that was Uwe, who she was dreaming of. Friends at her hospital, huh? I'm telling you, something has to be related when she was a magical girl and stuff. And, which is not going to regard what happened last week. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Oh, so this is this magical girl, um, place. So the other chick, um, the other girl that they are with, their friend, she got taken by the um, Chain Witch. I'm assuming. <laughs> Hmm. Adjusted? What does they mean by adjusted? Something with their, um, gems? I forget what they're called. <laughs> hey! We meet again. Oh. Well, she's not. <laughs> wow! Calling her out, too? Who can't fight? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I'm sure where she's coming from. I, I feel like she's only saying that bitch doesn't want to, like, get her hurt or anything, or too involved when she doesn't need to be involved, you know? For her sake. Yeah, it's called Soul Gem. So, after having the Soul Gem adjusted, it makes them stronger? <laughs> I know I see all three of them are in school uniforms, so I'm assuming that she's not in school or in college or something. I, I don't know. That is a long stairwell. <laughs> I have no objected objections. I mean, makes sense that both of them work together. They both seem really formidable. <laughs> Yo, episode three of the original series. This is episode three of this one, so... <laughs> Um, are we going to see another blonde character just bite the dust? <laughs> I hope not. It's funny because the other day I was actually talking to a friend of mine who just, like, started watching the original one and thought the series wasn't, like, dark and he was like, oh, episode three, wow. <laughs> oh. So, she has, like, a, oh. Oh, the mirror being a thing because she could turn into, like, other people and stuff. So each of the transformations do have some sort of relation to their abilities. Hey, When she put on that hooded cloak, hey, that's some cool stuff right there. <laughs> Playing the good girl. <laughs> Dang, forcing a friendship. Okay. I see where she's coming from. Oh, <laughs> what is happening? That's kind of cool. <laughs> For some, I thought about the end up so I was like, "Come on!" Ah, <laughs> uh, then she feels like it's okay. She's apologizing, even though she's not at fault. And then she's like, you're not at fault. I'm at fault. Let me apologize. But I can't apologize because, you know, I'm stubborn. <laughs> oh, no. 
then she feels even more guilty about it and then angry at her when she's truly angry at herself. <laughs> no one likes her. <laughs> Speaking to herself in the third person? Huh. What's happening? Oh! Oh, that's why she... Okay, I was like tripping... I <laughs> didn't mess me up. I was like... Forget that she could transform to other people. Wait, what? I say like, little Kyubi again. Oh, and she could like create like... Plants or whatever? Stalk? <laughs> I, I don't know the word. <laughs> In relation to her family's um garden that they mentioned last week. <laughs> Short fused. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> She's saying we have to be friends. <laughs> ah, dang, always holding back. Can't even apologize right there. They go taking out the witch, the source of it. Oh. Ah, oh, she like duplicates her power through the mirrors. Okay. <laughs> Didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> then disappeared along with the witch again oh wow couldn't even say friend <laughs> hmm May not have been a witch. Oh, the might what it could have been. Huh. It's true. Oh, so they do remember Toka and Nimu. Haha. <laughs> That's true. Someone close one step closer to figuring out this mystery of your sister. If she was real, <laughs> but if they, but if Toka and Nomu were there, then who says that her sister wasn't there? Unless if she is her sister, and that'd be the biggest plot twist, and she's forgot about all that, and it's all figment of her imagination, or something like that. Great, I'm thinking of so many theories, <laughs> like too many things. It could be anything related to magic, and with magic, you know, anything's possible. So. Okay, sneak peek, or preview. Hey, what? Lose consciousness when I'm in there, huh? Oh, oh, <laughs> dang. <laughs> You're all talk. Oh boy. Oh, magical girl fights. Oh, so witches are also going to Kamiyama City, just like that rumor of magical girls going there. Hmm. Or both. Okay, anyways, um, another episode of Magia Record, Magia that my house shows that I'm on to go back, um, y'all already know, but, um, yeah, interesting episode, especially interesting way they ended, so Mommy, <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> um, she's now going to be going into Kamehameha City, um, to go investigate the whole thing that's going on in, um, Kamehameha City, <laughs> um, because apparently it's either a witch or Excuse me, or a magical girl who's plotting something big with all these witches entering the town, how there's no like grief seeds being shown up now. 
So something peculiar is going on. The whole thing with the main girl's sister and stuff, the memory loss, and then some other, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I'm sure about to get even more crazier. So yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say. Hope you all enjoyed. You guys will see later on for the episode of Inspector. Um, episode two of that. But until then, it's day we night the year. Y'all know I'm doing comments below, and that's all I have to say. Kataba! Peace!